Okay guys, I'm back out here again. Here's the pot, here's the ground. Got more laying in here. Let's get it out. Okay. Remember pull your wire straight. I don't know how much video card I have, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these back off, put them down, out of the way for now, and I'm going to start right where the green tape is, I don't know if you guys can see that, <clears throat> and from there I'm going to start to roll it, okay? Okay, so we're going to start taping here. I come around and just bring it right across this is exactly what we're going to do uh, I prefer not to take that wire off but we might have to okay maybe we can get some of this on video I got the wire laid out and it's about 50% overlap you start your tape off on an angle if you don't, every time you come around, you'll put a wrinkle on it. That's it. These are right in parallel to each other. It's time consuming. This is a hobby. My time is free. Well, sometimes at work it is too. We won't go there. How about we do a couple of quick shout outs? And this isn't for the, I mentioned it before, this isn't for the people that have been on the channel that have been following me. And trust me, I don't want to sound unappreciative, but these are the newer people that are starting to come on that maybe someone else will find interesting if you go on their channels. Um, no particular order we got sunshine cooper okay we have hazy days we have ian matthews we have johnny five we have johnny c and friends it sounds like i'm reading it but i'm not reading it I'm mesmerized by the tape going round and round. Uh, we have Natasha Flowers. Uh, we have... Uh, oh, I can't think of his name. Uh, we have Captain Jerk. You saw that t-shirt. Um, trying to think who else who isn't... Who everybody doesn't know and has been following me for a long time. Those are the people I'm thinking of. The people that haven't been following me for a long time. Um, but yeah, check some of them out. You'll see them commenting on my videos. As well as everybody else that's commenting on my videos. Check them out also. Um, this is as boring as watching tape go round and round. So with that, I think I'm going to turn it off. And... Uh, We'll turn it back on when we have to. Okay, so this is what we've got. We're from over here, all the way here, 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 to right there. That should be more than enough to get inside the car. The stuff is laying pretty nice. So I did take off that fat wire. Now I gotta fish it through all those loops. That's fun. And then go through that hole. Um, you say why don't you just draw a hole right through there why don't I just draw a hole through the side run it through the fender well no no that's not the way the factory would have did it this car was 100% original okay just a quick recap of what we did tonight MSD box gone finished up that wiring see no more green tape brought it here it does it split Got all this crap back in. 
got it tucked in all around the back and it keeps going and lays over the fender I took it out of the hole also with that I took out all the temporary wiring for the coil and we put the coil in where it went and then it just comes out and lays over here okay on both those I left enough wire for it to go into the car go to the outside of the car and a foot back okay and that's all fine and dandy okay I wound up shortening both those wires here's one there are the others okay that's fine and dandy I could put the MSD unit on the trunk doesn't matter here's the problem never thought of this this is the extender wire or the wire or the harness if you want to word it that I bought uh, to move the MSD box inside the car and if I'm not mistaken this is only six feet yeah it's six feet long six feet ain't gonna cut it <laughs> I don't know if I want to um, buy another extension or just new, new wire I hate connections especially aftermarket cheap shit Chinese nobody gives a crap connections that are gonna leave you on the side of the road and it will it's not when or it's not if it's when so um I gotta fish up the we gotta bring in the temperature gauge the oil pressure line and the wire from the distributor which is right here doesn't matter where I run it but I don't want to run it and drape it over the side of the car uh, believe it or not that's the way factory did it on the uh, AMX you have the coil mounted here and then the wire runs off to the side of the car looks goofy but it's original uh, I don't want to do that so I'm thinking of bringing all three of them underneath this valve cover um, and the reason I'm going to do that is it'll be partly blocked by the fuel line just partly and partly blocked by the plate and partly blocked by things this size is a little bit more open okay not that we can't do a neat but keep all the clutter in one area you know what I mean this was well, actually two things this is gonna run under the intake and then meet up with it in the back uh, I can't run the rest of the stuff under the intake because then I have to come up over the water passages down and then that'll look like total dog shit um, so running right at the edge of the valve cover always seems to be a good place it's a transition um, don't know if we're gonna have enough copper line either uh, that I have no problem just get another compression fitting we're good to go uh, never never will I use plastic never okay I had a 69 Chevy GMC uh, short bed step side 4x4 and it was it had the factory gauge pack in it so it had an oil pressure water temperature it had the factory tack um, I don't remember was that an amp meter it had another gauge in there and I ran that I ran all the gauges that were on the dashboard I didn't run any auxiliary gauges and the copper line came into the truck and the last like foot of it was the plastic yeah one day that went and so it's spraying oil all over me never again um so if we're gonna lengthen it's not a big deal it just seems like a lot of shit to get through that small hole it seems like i'm not gonna have a grommet there at all when i'm done um it almost seems like it's gonna be like the heater coal hole and i really don't want that so you gotta come up with some kind of rubber that sits in there and even if everything settles on it and we put some stuff there we gotta do something i gotta see what the hell belongs there but with that said i think that's enough for tonight it gets tiring hanging over the car and not being able to lean on anything you know what i mean working in the back working down here sounds like nothing but i don't can't even rest my legs on this because i don't want to push in on anything else so i actually you know you hump over and after a while it gets to you but this is much neater in here ready so you get to right there we also have to run the line lock wires and the line lock is right there the wires are just sticking through an original hole that's in the car right now out the side but we're not going to leave it like that just going to run the same thing i'll hook that hook these to it that's more than thick enough for the line lock uh and run that into the car so there's gonna be a lot of shit going there uh, i might not bring it all up over the top like the line lock and uh 
this other harness I have here. Uh, I might, I might bring it up and then right above it come down with like a question mark and then go in. Um, so either way, we'll, we'll keep it neat. We'll keep it neat. Now that I see the new harness next to the dusty harness, you guys don't realize how dusty this car is. But it's definitely dusty. But there's no metal grindings in it. That's all that matters. So, um... Okay, guys, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, by the time you guys see these videos, we're going to be days past this. Uh, having charging issues on my laptop, I ordered a new uh, pack. It's very hard to charge the computer. So I'm lucky if I can get, a, like, I started a video yesterday. It didn't even get done processing, and the computer shut down. So um, I, that's being processed while we're out here. I'll get that one up, but we're going to be videos behind. So, like I said, thanks everybody. I appreciate it, and uh, I'm out of here.